The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats There were seven little goats living in a cozy hut. The mother goat warned them before going to the market. Don't let strangers in. Shut the door tight. The cubs nodded, and the mother went out. The wolf, who could not find food for a long time, smelled the seven little goats from quite afar. He knocked on their door and shouted, Open the door and let me in! The seven little goats were also very surprised. They immediately recognized the wolf's voice. You're not our mother! Your voice is too deep! So the wolf tried to move away to thin his voice. <coughs> How is this now? <coughs> How is this now? <coughs> there it is! The wolf was going to deceive the seven little goats. He knocked on their door. This time his voice was thin, just like the mother goat. Come on, my babies! Let me in! The goats were happy to hear their mother had arrived. One of them wanted to open the door, but what was that? His feet were gray. The goat said, You're not our mother! Her feet are white! The wolf failed again, but his stomach was still rumbling. This time he ran to the bakery. He took a sack of flour and poured it on his feet. The wolf was going to deceive the seven little goats. He knocked on their door. This time his voice was thin and his feet were white. Come on, my babies! Let me in! The goats were deceived and opened the door for him. The wolf jumped on them and the goats ran away. The first hid under the table. The second behind the curtain. The third jumped on the bed. The fourth jumped on the stove. The fifth went to the closet. The sixth to the kitchen. And the seven was inside the clock. Of course the wolf wouldn't stop. He found the goats one by one. He took them to his lair. The mother goat has returned home. The door was open and no one was inside. The mother goat was very sad and cried. Hearing her voice, her baby came out of the clock. It turns out that he was the only one who could escape from the wolf. He told his mother what had happened. The mother goat wanted to save her babies. She immediately ran to the wolf's lair. Like a bear, her voice deepened and roared. I'm looking for a wolf to fill my stomach! The wolf was very scared when he heard the voice because he thought the mother goat was a bear. He left the goats and ran into the forest. He didn't even look back. The mother goat has finally had her babies. They all hugged each other and were so happy. The wolf could not deceive them again because the seven little goats were very clever.